We've spoken in the past about um, visors, because you've told us what we can and can't have in visors. What we didn't mention is helmets, because there are laws and things that we can and can't have in helmets, aren't there? Yep. Tell us about that then. Okay, first one is, um, obviously on a solo motorcycle you've got to wear a crash helmet, mm -hmm. and it's got to be fastened. So if you see sometimes kids and peeps up riding around with a strap undone, right, right. that is actually classified as not wearing a helmet. Is it really? Potentially, That's level two fine, 500 pounds. God bless. Fury on some of That's the first thing. It's got to be fastened up properly. Right. Uh, there are some exemptions to wearing a crash helmet. Okay. If you're in a sidecar, you don't need one. If you're a follower of the Sikh religion and you're wearing a turban, you don't have to wear a crash helmet on religious grounds. And if you're pushing your bike, so if your on foot's broken down, yeah. common sense application, you don't have to wear a crash helmet if you're right. pushing it. Okay. About a trike. Uh, you on a trike, do you? Yeah, there is an exemption for trikes. Yeah. And that is because. The helmet regulations refer to a motor bicycle. Right. Okay. So the bicycle being two wheels. So the yeah. trike's three wheels, you don't have to wear a crash helmet. All right. That's how you get around that one. Okay. But the type of crash helmet you're allowed to wear, there are yeah. rules that attached to that as yeah. well. I mean, the, the, the safe rule of thumb is buy it in the UK. Right. If you buy it in the UK, it's going to come with a BS stamp, yeah. which has got to have to be road legal, okay. and it's got to have to be sold in this country. Um, if you buy it from a, an EEC member state mm -hmm. and you can prove that it's the equivalent or better than the BS stamp, then you can do that. Right. A uh, common mistake is people buying it from the states and it's got the Snell standard on. Yeah. That doesn't, even though it's their equivalent of the BS standard, it doesn't qualify under the current helmet regulations. Right. So you can buy your cheap showy from America or whatever, because it's not going to have the BS stamp, it's not actually illegal in this country. Okay, and we've got this one as well, the ACU. Yeah, gold it's, that's obviously to, if you want to take in a track day or a race and it's got to have got that to have ACU that on gold it, sticker it? on, yeah. Right. So I suppose the bottom line is, if you're buying a helmet, check that it conforms. Yeah. And check what the rules are, because the rules seem to be changing a bit, don't they? All they, the time, they, really. All the time they're changing, yeah, so. Yeah, definitely. So, but I mean, if you go it, to yeah. a reputable dealer, yeah. it's BS stamped, ACU stamped, you can't go far wrong. No problem. Good stuff.